Hi everyone and welcome back to Oak Hill. So today, it's a little bit later on in the day, so last episode we acquired two new fields and what I did is I fertilised uh, fertilized number 18. I ran out just a little bit, you can see at the bottom, so that needs to be sorted when we do go and fertilise. But I've got a couple of things going on, so if you can see here, I'm field 2, field 66 and 65, I've got some contracts. So what I did, I spent about 5 grand on fertilising, and I thought, well... We can, we can make a little bit of money, just to boost. Also, the money went up from last episode anyway, because I got rid of this trailer here. It was a poor capacity, and it, it wasn't so great. And today I'm going to sell the cedar as well, and we're going to buy a planter, so that we can do 18 and 19. Now, thanks everyone for your comments about, <laughs> about the grass. Now... Yeah, I, I, this is going to turn into hay. In actual fact, it's already started turning a little bit. Now, the weather at the moment... If I get rid of that. Uh, it says that there's zero drying potential, so I, I have no idea what's going on. So maybe that will reset tomorrow. I mean, look at the wind's pretty good, although it's just, it just is still cloudy. But there's rain coming on Friday, so I hope it's going to do... You know, it's transformation before then, hopefully. Right, so we have the field 65 is finished. Uh, I hope he's still got some... I put more fertiliser in the back of them than they perhaps needed. So hopefully we'll get reimbursed. Uh, 65 was such a small field as well, so shall we see? Yeah, look, we got a 1,764 reimbursement and it was only £277 to lease the machinery. So let's collect on that. So that's good, and we actually nearly finished on field two as well. That'll be coming up in a second. So let's jump in the deer, and let's go to the shop. I want to get rid of the cedar. We don't need the cedar again this year, because the planter will do corn, and it will plant soybeans as well. I've got the tiniest amount of seed in there, but I'm not bothered about that. That can just be sold with the cedar. We will get fresh. So, a cheeky 12,450 for that. Let's collect on this contract as well. They haven't used as much fertiliser as I thought, actually. I don't know whether I made a mistake, because I perhaps should have kept some. No, that's fine, I can buy another one. I don't know if that reimbursement, if anyone else knows, is on par with what I spent originally. So, originally, I uh, went for the pallets. So, 2,500 litres? 2,400 litres, sorry, for £2,500. I don't know if that's the reimbursement is on par with that, or on par with the in-game one, uh, with the solid this one i mean it's, are they, they're not the same price are they it's cheaper to buy the pallet is the pallet an in-game one no it's mod isn't it okay hopefully it's in line with the in-game one because that seems to be quite lucrative considering i only put about 1400 liters in each of these fertilizers so that's another 4,143 and another, ooh, 5,973. I think perhaps we made a bit more on those contracts than, I think we swindled them, didn't we? Because I didn't really spend much on the fertiliser, but hey-ho, we're running a business. And a business needs to make their money. So let's go get a planter. Planter, planter, planter. So I've decided... I've decided to go for um, tempo. The fields aren't very big. It's not going to take us very long. And the front tank as well, just in case. I'm not sure how much seed corn uses. 
So we'll just lease them because we need two fields and then that's going to be us done. So 408 to lease for that. And 1530 to lease for that. And we're still up. Our bank's looking a little bit better. I'm, I'm a little bit happier now. Let's jump in there. Oh, I don't have the three point on this, right. Bear with me. Okay, that didn't cost us anything. Uh, I was really hoping that wasn't going to fall backwards. It is a little bit, but that's okay. Once I get this on the front, I should bring it back down to ground. Right, so let's uh, let's just get out of the way so we can buy some seed. Just one pallet, I think we'll do. We'll just use the whole thing. I don't, I don't know if we'll use all of the seed. It's 2,100 litres of seed. You know, this this is still actually pretty light on the front. Oh, we, should, we should be alright. Does this fold up? Please tell me this folds up. Okay. Ah, there we go. I was thinking, how was I ever going to... Go down the road with that wide open there. <laughs> this hay field. Or who should I say is grass field. Oh. So I was actually told by um, numerous people that if you just left it, if it's light green, it'll dry whatever. Don't need to, don't need to ted it. So we'll, we'll go with that. So I think our cut through will bring us to 18. No? Two pound, okay. I dispute, but never mind. Now this 18, I think I'm gonna have the soybean in this and then 19 is the corn. So you been? So let's get into position. I know we can fertilise at the same time, but I've already fertilised this field, so I don't think it will... It won't apply it, so we'll just wait for it to grow a little bit, and then just before it's ready, we'll do it again. Uh, so turn on. There we go. Planting soybean. This is definitely the right width for this field. I feel like any wider and it just would be a pointless exercise. You don't want it to be over too soon. You want to enjoy it. Oh, I didn't fertilize that little square there. No, that's all right, that should be all right. This is pulling it okay. I don't know whether it's because we're just going upfield a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. But once that front tank has all that seed in it, it should weigh the front down a lot more so you don't get any of that sort of drifting or front wheels coming off the ground like you, you do when your back's too heavy. I can't remember if I put weights. I think I've got wheel weights on those as well. 
and we're spinning a little bit too. That's, that's all right. We can manage. Now there's a couple of other things I've got on my list here of to do as well. So we've got sow field 18, we've got plant the corn. Now interestingly, I think after that, because it's four o'clock, I think I'll skip through to the next day. I pray that this hay is going to be ready. I really do. Because I ain't sure what I'm going to do if it doesn't get ready. Well, hopefully the weather will sort itself out. But yeah, we, we want to skip forward for the hay. But also, we have... And I was checking... We have some grain in storage. And it's at a silo that's not where we are. But I've checked it out and we can take it out. So I'm looking in particular... Soybeans. This is a pretty good price for soybeans. However... It's not the best price. So if we go into our trend graphs, uh, soybean, look at that max price, 2,108. Isn't that interesting? So tomorrow, potentially, as well, we can sell some soybean. We didn't pay for it. It was just here when we arrived. There's 14,000 litres, so potentially almost 30 grand there sitting sitting in a silo doing nothing. If I don't sell it tomorrow when the price is good, we've got another 12 months to wait. Which is partly the problem with the soybeans here. By the time we harvest these later in the year, sort of um, late autumn, we're going to have to be waiting six months before we can sell it. So whatever is in that silo just now has done as a good favour really. So I can start with the up and down rows now. That I've done enough headland for turning. And like I said, once we've done both of these fields I can actually send this back. Will not when I don't know, there's a couple of sewing contracts actually, but is there any for I know there's one for planting sugar beet, but it's really cheap to lease the machinery. I'm going to use so much seed for that. Oh, I don't know. I've got. I think I've got so much stuff leased at the moment. That would be all right. Okay, so this we're coming up to field 18 being done. It's pretty steep there. Can I fit? all that across yes right, let's fold up field 19 let's get some corn in we do have some corn in storage as well but I'm not the, the price is best right now for corn I'm going to keep it because I want to do this CCM and I want to sell it because if this corn I haven't paid for this corn obviously uh, just like the soybean um it's going to be basically free for us. Apart from if I need to use any Luprasil, but... You don't want to be going out and buying corn. You want to grow it yourself and do it that way, don't you? So that'll be interesting. And I've never done that before. And this isn't using as much seed as I thought, so next year... We'll have some seed left over. Now I haven't forgotten about those silage bales either. They potentially could be ready right now. I'm so glad I got rid of those bushes. Uh, get right to the edge. Now I haven't forgotten about those silage bales. And they need to be sent to BGA to be sold. And I think, I don't think I'll do that tonight because I'm just, I just really want to skip forward for this hay. I keep talking about this 
this field. Well, you can just ignore me. If it's not working, it's not working. I don't know. If it's not, we can always bail it. But it would be nice to start accumulating stock is, is what I was wanting to do for next year. So that when it comes to after winter next year and we've potentially sold all of our crops and we've harvested and we've sold them and we've got the money, uh, maybe sold off the farm we have, these fields, and we'll have enough to then maybe buy somewhere new. And I really wanted to maybe start on animals, getting them productive, because the sooner I can start on the coos, the quicker I can get the milk, because that's gonna take nine months, isn't it? For the cows to start getting us milk. Look at that guy's parked there. And whilst I'm talking about taking bales to the BGA, this tractor can get a front load. So when I was checking what we could do to shift the bales, Really, the cheapest thing I could find was a skid steer, but, I mean, you're still talking like 25 grand, and we just don't have that right now. Definitely in the future, a tally handler, skid steer loader, wheel loader, whatever. Whatever we can afford or come across, or is best for the job we need it for, we'll get that. But right now, just for moving those 13 small bales, this will do the job. And we'll get a weight as well, because I think that this tractor's... It's a medium tractor, but I think it'll tip. I don't think it has the capability of holding that amount of weight on the front. Especially if I'm moving two at a time. And don't forget, we put them up to 10,000. So that's another thing we'll do. And the front loader is only going to cost us a thousand pounds to configure. Cheap as chips. And because we are planting now, we've changed the state of the ground. So judging by how light the ground is just now, we will be able to fertilise after this too. That little fertiliser spreader we got a few months ago when we very first started was really good because it was a good price for what we wanted at the time. But we are definitely going to need something that's going to whiz through these fields a lot quicker. So I'm in two minds whether to go for a spreader or whether to just go for a sprayer. A sprayer we can go quite wide but I mean I just don't want to do the fields in two passes. It's pretty pointless. I'd have to look into it. I'll look into it later. This setup's working quite well actually. I think a three metre or a four metre planter would have just taken a little bit longer than I would have wanted but this is this is a good width and it's pretty much on the limit of what we can pull as well with this tractor just now my favourite tractor is a fast track oh, why did that just miss why did it turn off hmm huh. And I think we can really make this business that we're running here really productive and efficient by having a really fast tractor that can have the horsepower to, to, to do a lot, of, a lot of things. So that's what I want to aim for. This John Deere is great though. Even though it's used, it's a bit scratched and dented, but it's ours. And it is an asset. Which means it will be worth money if we sell it in the future. Even though we've used it to death. I know it's got 121.9 hours on it at the moment. I didn't put that on though. Definitely not. I think the longest I've played was Greenwich Valley and No Man's Land. And I think I was in two, the two, 270, 280 hours on that. I know people have done a lot more. Some of you will have done about 700, 800 hours on a game. But for me, it just ran its course after that time. So I stopped. 
Well, I don't know how long this is going to go on for, but we'll get what we want to get done and then we'll see where we're at. So what did we start with? Let's turn that off. 2,100 litres of seed. We did two fields and we've still got 1,483. I know I bought a pallet and the pallet comes as the pallet comes, but I'm thinking now it's 20 past four. What have we got on the contract list for sewing, if there is any? Because we could earn some extra money with this. Four. Four is going to be close. Soybean. I could do 25 for some flowers. <gasps> I could do sugar beet and 29. Look at that. I think there's... Is there another one for sugar beet? Yeah, that's not as much though. Corn. Corn's good. Sixty ones on the other side though. Right, bear with me. I'm gonna decide what contracts I want to do and then hopefully we'll get a boost to the income. Might as well start at the top of the list. I can feel the montage already. Okay, so that is the last contract done. I have used pretty much all of the seed bar 78 litres. I think that's pretty good going if you ask me. So let's head back to the yard. Um, whilst we're doing that, let's just collect on that, another 1,187. So now we're standing at 53,978. That's pretty good. So we're going to come out at our fields 18 and 19. And we'll just head straight up the road here. I was wondering why it was so quiet. I remembered that I turned the traffic off. And <laughs> I forgot to turn it back on. So we actually don't need this planter anymore. I keep forgetting about that. Just two miles an hour over. I'm sure they're not that strict, actually, in the UK. I'm sure they're not. I think most speed cameras in the UK don't even have cameras in them. So anyway, we'll take these back. I know I can just send them back, but seeing as we're actually really close, I might as well just do it properly. So, front off. Back off. I don't want to repair it, I just want to return it. Return. Return. We did incur some leasing costs because we went for 1.2 hours. But that's alright. We made money. It's only a small amount, but, but we made money. So let's go back here and let's rest until the morning. We uh, we will need a, fert a new fertiliser spreader tomorrow as well, definitely. These fields will be ready to fertilise, the ones that I've just seeded. So for 25, 30, 32, I think they're the only four that I did. 
but our fields 18 and 19 19 will need its last application and 18 will need its second application 46 going strong and 47 when that grows as well will need its final application I really shouldn't have given it an application when the grass was still laid on the ground because that's not realistic but I thought if I waited any longer I'm not going to be able to get it fully fertilized for later on in the year in the next few months so let's rest now and see where we're at tomorrow So it's 8.30. Ah, uh, field is still not ready. Hopefully that changes though. Yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. Oh! A hay! Hey, we got hay! Right, well I know what's happening next episode. Oh, and next growth stage, ready for its final application. Finally! Things are going my way. Whoop. Now, the money went down. 49,000 now. Uh, because 4,000 came from me just keeping these. But these fields, I mean, these two are ready to go again, I'm sure. Yep, ready to harvest. And these bales must be ready now. Surely. Oh, 10,000 litres, grass silage. Okay, let's go and buy, because it's going to work out for us, a trailer. This These soya beans must be at price now. Oh, yeah, see, look. Just as we predicted, and the garden centre is very close. Let me just make sure it is the place I'm thinking of. Yeah, just there. Right, let's hop in the deer again and go and get ourselves a trailer. What do we have? Now I'm going to need to move, I'm going to need something to move those bales on because I can't just take two at a time down the road. That's not how it works. So that is, that's really cheap though for the capacity. No, that's not going to work. There is one here that will configure, I think it's this one. It's only 11,000 litres though, capacity. That doesn't matter because we're really close, but I'm, you can have it as a bale wagon. Is that a dolly on the front? Never mind. This might work for us just now. And it's green and yellow as well. well I can't make it deer yellow, but it's close enough. We can trailer them together as well. I'm going to go for this just only because I can configure it to a bale trailer for no cost and it's 6,780. That is now ours. Now the soybeans are in a silo a little bit further away. The farm silo is... We can get out sort of on the left down here, but this farm silo is just below field 61. So that's where we'll be heading to go and fetch them. That canola field that we planted um, sort of on the first episode is looking good. Someone living in there. Hmm. Maybe we can't buy it if someone's already here. 
We'll have to wait for them to move out. Just out of curiosity, how much is it? Ooh, 177. But look at all these fields that we get. How much is the space that we own? 152. 31, 67. We could pay off the loan. Beam me up. And let's go drop this off. Oh, the green beacon inviting us to sell. I definitely want to sell. Now, I haven't actually looked into this garden centre yet. I'm not sure if it's just a sell point or if there's a couple of greenhouses here, but I don't think they're, they're like those greenhouses where you can drop manure off. I don't think so. There's no triggers or water tanks. Hmm. We can definitely buy manure and slurry from here though. I'm not reversing into there with this, so this can just go here. Right, so let's see how much we make from this. I like the money going up. That pleases me. Wow. 25,031 pounds. And there is still 3,000 more litres as well. So there's another six grand to come back to us. So let's just untag that place. Uh, not reset. I'll just do it from here. Untag. Okay, so we'll leave it there for today. I think we've got plenty of stuff going on now. Looking forward to the future. Next time, we've got hay. We've got the rest of the soybeans to sell. We'll see what contracts we've got because we definitely need a fertilizer spreader today in this game day. That will be very lucrative for us because we can smash out those fertilizing contracts. And once we do, we'll be in a better financial position because in a couple of days... Hopefully, days, I say like, you know, months in game, the canola is going to be ready to harvest and we need as much money as we can to invest in a harvester. It will probably be leased, but I want a decent one. So we're talking 25, 30,000 pounds to lease one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, give the video a thumbs up for me. That would be really, really good. And I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.